Hey there folks, Graham here and welcome to the channel and welcome to the second in a series of videos on the Behringer FCB 1010 MIDI foot controller. Today we're going to be looking at the various software editors that are available for programming the FCB 1010 foot controller, so stick around. Let's dive straight in. Now the FCB 1010 is notoriously difficult to program. Not that complicated once you've got your head around it, but it does involve a lengthy process of various button pushes in various sequences. But never fear, some clever people have come up with some software editors which make the whole thing much easier. Now in order to use these software editors, you will need a couple of things. You will need two MIDI cables so that the foot controller can communicate backwards and forwards to and from your computer and you will need a way of connecting your foot controller to the computer via MIDI. So this may be a MIDI interface or in my instance my audio interface has MIDI ins and outs on the back of it so it doubles as a MIDI interface. So there are three main editors for the foot controller and each of them has their pros and cons. The first is the FCB 1010 PC editor, which I have up on the screen at the moment. This is a pretty old application. It hasn't been updated since 2008. However, it works absolutely perfectly. The only issue with this one is it only works on PC. There is no version for Mac. It does, however, support the Uno chip upgrade, which is, as far as I'm aware, a very popular upgrade for owners of the FCB 1010. As you can see, this application gives a graphical representation of the foot controller and underneath it, various entry boxes and buttons to perform the programming. So you have entry boxes for typing in all of your program change values, CC values, the CC values for your expression pedals with their minimum maximum values, the ability to switch the relay switches, on the back of the foot controller on and off. You also then have ways of receiving and sending SysX files, which means you can receive all of the settings from your foot controller into this application. And once programmed, you can send all of the program data to your foot controller. And you also have the ability to do things such as write SysX files. So once you've programmed this, you can create an actual SysX file that you can save so that if you ever need to recall it at another date, you can just load it into here and then send it to your controller. Next up is the FCB 1010 Manager from Mountain Systems. This is a much more up-to-date software editor, which as far as I'm aware, is still fully supported and receiving updates. This one is compatible with both PC and Mac. However, it does not support the Uno chip upgrade. So if you've got the Uno chip in your MIDI foot controller, then this is not the editor for you. Similar to the PC editor, this has a graphical representation of the FCB 1010 pedal board. And then it also has a box with a sort of entry boxes for the CC values, program changes, etc. So it effectively does exactly the same thing. And then finally, we have the FCB Uno Control Center for the guys that came up with the Uno chip upgrade for the FCB 1010. Now this one is compatible with both PC and Mac. And this one also supports either the standard FCB 1010 or an FCB 1010 that has had the Uno chip upgrade. However, this one does come with a price tag. It's not free. I believe at the moment this one is currently around 24 euros. It pretty much, though, does exactly the same as the others. We have a graphical representation of the foot controller where we can click on buttons here in order to program things and down below we then have a data entry section for putting in program changes, turning switches on and off, entering CC values etc. So in summary on the three software editors we've got the PC editor which is only available for Windows but it does support both the standard foot controller and those with the Uno chip upgrade. We have the FCB 1010 Manager from Mountain Systems, which is compatible with both Windows and Mac, but doesn't support the Uno chip upgrade. 
And then we have the FCB UNO control center, which does cover both Windows and Mac and covers both the standard FCB 10 and the UNO chip upgraded FCB 1010. However, as I said, that last one comes at a cost. It does cover all bases, however, it costs around 24 euros. Personally, I have a PC, so I use the PC editor, which is the first one that I showed you. It's simple, it's well laid out, and it does everything I want it to, and it's free. If at any time it stops working or becomes incompatible, then I'll move over to the FCB 1010 Manager, which is the second one I showed you. Again, it's free, it works on PC, it doesn't support the UNO chip upgrade, but then I don't have the UNO chip upgrade. So that's it. That's a quick overview of the software editors that are readily available for the FCB 1010 MIDI foot controller. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to actually program the foot controller using one of the software editors. I'll be using the PC editor, as that's the one I predominantly use. However, the instructions are pretty much the same for the other available editors. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell, as it really does help me to grow the channel. And if you've got any questions, then please feel free to leave them in the comments section down below, or indeed, if you've just got any other comments, all feedback is greatly appreciated. But for now, I've been Graham, take care, and catch you later. Mm -hmm.